Look at my shirt. Look at my fanny pack. Dude, my name's Razmataz. I'm the gayest guy alive. No, he, he changed his name on his driver's license. His name is Dan. Says you. I own a fucking smart car, dude. There's an epidemic now, a phenomenon of fake hate crimes. They've increased dramatically. There have actually been more fake hate crimes in just November of 2016 than the entire year of 2015. And the goal, generally speaking, of these fake hate crimes is to incite racial hatred against other people, whether it's Republicans, Tea Partiers, mm -hmm. Trump voters, whites, people who don't watch Vox, take your pick. It's <laughs> essentially created an entire cottage industry of people accusing other people of crimes and trying to get more time tacked on or trying to get a worse sentence tacked act on because of a politically incorrect, motivated hate crime. You are about to enter the hate crime court. The people are real. The cases, maybe. This is Razmataz. He's accusing the defendant of striking him with a baseball bat twice in the ribs because he's a homosexual. This is not gay Jared. He claims Razmataz is full of shit. Honorable Judge Van Andel presiding, please rise. So, Jared, it appears you assaulted Razmataz with a baseball bat, striking him twice in the rib cage. Now, you are being charged with assault with a deadly weapon, which... Your Honor, as a gay man, I request that he gets uh, the hate crime amount of years. Like, a lot of years. Not the normal amount you give normal people. I want you to, uh, you know, he hate crime me. Give him hell, Judge. Your Honor, this man is not gay. I caught him having sex with my wife. He just wants me to go to prison hate so we can- Hate crime, Your Honor. This man was motivated by pure homophobia. As he was striking me, he was saying stuff like, maybe this will teach you from being gay and sucking off dudes. Give him hell, Your Honor. He clearly just bought that wig today from Hot Topic. You can, you, I can see the tag. That's no, not a wig. It's my hair. I also really like My Chemical Romance, Your so, Honor. Mr. Razmataz, you mean to tell me that you are a homosexual, but were engaging in relations with this man's wife? Sexuality is a very complicated thing, Your Honor. Yes, I'm gay, but I prefer to exclusively have sex with women. Give him hell, Your Honor. Hate crime me. Well, I'm quite certain he struck you because you were having sex with his wife. <laughs> Look at my shirt. Look at my fanny pack. Dude, my name's Razmataz. I'm the gayest guy alive. No, he, he changed his name on his driver's license. His name is Dan. Says you. I own a fucking smart car, dude. Now, Mr. Rasmataz, that's not how hate crimes work. Sensing is required to determine motivation that the crime was committed because the victim is a part of a marginalized group. I just told you. He was hitting me because I'm a fairy and not because I was having sex with his wife. That never happened. It's true, Your Honor. I was there. He repeatedly beat him and called this man a faggot while we were doing it. Thanks, babe. Top five hate crimes. We kind of went through this. We were going, well, does that qualify as a hate crime? And you realize that almost anything can qualify as a hate crime. Yeah, just, just figure out an angle and uh, just stick it to Just him. figure out any angle. Are you, did you have a crime committed against you? Are you a woman? Hate crime. So number, <laughs> number five, I think we had to start with this one because this is a big part of the whole new safe space movement, the poop swastika at Mizzou. So this was one, in case you forgot, the media in college claimed that this was a white supremacist hate crime. Uh, there was a poop swastika <laughs> in the dorms. I can't even say that phrase straight. I poop don't, swastika. do you remember poop, you remember poop swastika? I remember poop swastika. And it's one of those things that I think everyone looked at and thought, this is likely not true, but we can't necessarily. Best was, case scenario, even though it was true, like it kind of sucks the person who made the poop swastikas. They got poop all over them. Well, you know, th there's the saying that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Yeah. I would argue, that the poop swastika is an extraordinary claim. <laughs> in reality, there was never any evidence for no. that. There was a lot of evidence Guys to- Guys take pictures of three pound donkeys in the toilet to show it off. You would take a picture, there would be evidence of a poop swastika. There would be one guy who did the poop swastika. Hey guys, I did a poop swastika. Yeah. And some dummy would take a picture with his Snap. phone. No, didn't no, happen. Nothing. All right, on to number four, our favorite resident non-black black guy, Chief Sean King, claimed he was beaten up because he was black. The police report showed actually the boxes were checked, I think we have these, that he was non-Hispanic and white. <laughs> That's the actual Both police of report <laughs> of the hate crime committed. And the detective who worked on it actually had no record of hate crimes committed, not only this, but in the district. 
And as more evidence emerged, it seemed to actually stem from a domestic dispute. It did not seem as though uh, white black guy Sean King was abused. And he got uh, yeah, this whole scholarship, got a scholarship with Oprah yeah. because of it. And it just, you just realize, hold on a second, did the media not do any checking? Right away, no. when it came to Antifa, we did our infiltration and Honeybee was arrested. We had the police reports. We had the arrest records. We were yeah. looking for mug shots. We we're going, okay, what, what, what has been written up? The media didn't even go, hold on a second. Sean King has made his entire career off of <laughs> being the victim of a hate crime. Yeah. Let's Oh, hold on. Hate he's a crime, white guy. <laughs> check white. Profit. And he's profit. famous for just being black and he's white. That's the only thing. <laughs> Number three, this one, we could have a whole list under this. Mm -hmm. uh, this. This is a category in and of itself, but my favorite one is the gay pastor who alleged that Whole Foods cake decorators in Austin discriminate against him because his cake read, love wins f Remember that? Yep. There, there's so many uh, of these. There was a lesbian with the bad tip that said something like call, calling her a, 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 an anti-gay. So it turns out she did yeah, it. Yeah, on the receipt or whatever, yeah. Now this guy, um, when he was caught on tape, later admitted that he had done it himself. I love his statement. This is one where the guys just trotted out. There's no, there's no semblance of him being innocent. The company did nothing wrong. I was wrong to pursue this matter and use the media to perpetuate this story. It's and almost like a game plan. Think about this for a second. This is what matters when it comes to the hate crime deal because this was a national news story. The okay. lesbian receipt was a national news story. Yeah. We were in Utah with Antifa having handed you an ice pick and a knife and talking about sawed off shotguns in their car and luring people in MAGA hats very, to very the parking lot their cars. People. We handed this footage over to reporters in the presence of police watching it saying look this detective is going to watch this footage so you can confirm that it's real nightline had no interest in it one lesbian with a bowl cut says this guy didn't tip me and they send out brian williams <laughs> <laughs> they're like no this pastor called himself a f sorry boys yeah <laughs> we've got real news yeah number two this one is pretty it, it, some people would say this isn't a hate crime mattress girl you know her as Mattress Girl, her name was Emma Solkowitz. So the reason everyone knew this was because she was the feminist hero du jour. It was HuffPo, Slate, Salon. She carried her mattress around the <laughs> campus. And the reason was, quick recap, probably everyone knows what this is about. She claimed that she was raped and this was her cross to bear. Cross to bear. Um, it was with a German exchange student and uh, she went on to report him for rape eight months later. All of the evidence that emerged, he was cleared of all charges. She's still carrying her mattress around, as far as I know. And this is what, what, what this comes down to, too. Rape culture. Mm -hmm. People go, well, why are you just taking an extreme example like Antifa? These little chips add up. Rape culture was established by a handful of cases. UVA, mattress girl. This is what was used to create this narrative that there's, that there's no actual recourse for women who are raped on campus. Men are getting away. It's just, they are, it's like it's women falling out of the sky, rape victims on college campus, rape culture, mm. one in four women because of story after story after story. And you never hear about the fact that the story wasn't false. Just like hands up, don't shoot. Well, his hands weren't up. He was assaulting a cop. You move on down the list. Narrative is out there. It gets, it's carried away. Corn Gaines, Gone. national news. Then when you find out the next day, she had a shotgun aimed at the police and her boy in another hand, she's going, fight the asses. They bury that footage and they move on down to the next victim case to build their narrative of brutal police officers. Same thing with rape culture. Mattress Girl is one of many stories, which brings us to the number one hate crime that I think has been most corrosive to the fabric of our society, the Duke lacrosse rape hoax. For people who don't know, this was a perfect, this was just an absolute dream story for the media because it was young white males who allegedly raped uh, a female, a black female stripper. So let me read this from you. This was uh, members of the Duke lacrosse team hired two strippers for a party and were accused of rape. Three players who were arrested for the rape were deemed innocent. The district attorney, this is what's important, the district attorney who pursued the case despite evidence to the contrary was disbarred and those in the media that pushed the narrative looked like fools. This is an article, here's the thing. The district attorney, what happens? There's a consequence. Mm -hmm. He knew there was evidence to the contrary. That's why he was disbarred. You're not disbarred because you lose. You're disbarred because you knowingly ignore evidence to the contrary. The media having access to the exact same information by the time this story was public, no consequences. The people covering it are still at their posts. That's what's so disconcerting. The media, ne they're never called on any of their bull crap. They get away with it for years and years. And again, everyone, everyone's afraid to talk about it because, well, hate crimes. No one likes hate, no one wants to be hateful. I'm not hateful. Yeah, we need hate crime laws, sure, hate speech. And they don't understand that they are slowly giving away their rights, the First Amendment right. And then of course we have Vegas, and then it's a Second Amendment right. And then they think that healthcare and school and debt absolving is, 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 is a human right. When it's not, when the actual human rights that we have in this country are not even recognized. It is the death by a thousand cuts, yep. rape culture, culture, racist cops, racist culture, white supremacists, and it's based on little stories like this and grow and grow and grow until all of a sudden you lose track of where you should be.
You see, Your Honor? This is pure gay hate here. Give him that big gay sentence. Your, your Honor, I, I can't believe this. You're not, you're not falling for this, are you? Now, uh, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. This man is claiming that you struck him because he is a practicing homosexual, and there is indeed a witness. Your Honor, this is all circumstantial. I mean, how can you, how can you legally tell if someone is gay anyways? Well, now, this seems pretty cut and dry, so I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, but we do. In fact, have more severe methods to accurately determine if one is, in fact. Oh, God! That's horrible! God, I fucking hate Cher! Don't you ever talk that way about Cher! Mr. Rasmutez, I sentence you to three years in a federal penitentiary for committing perjury. Jared, you're free to go. I almost put you away for life. You do not even realize. Thank you, Your Honor. No, you can't do this, Judge. I'm super gay. I'm crazy gay. I'm crazy, crazy gay. Oh, and uh, ma'am, your husband's a f. I know. Do you believe in love after love? I can feel something. Hey, did you like this video? It. What, you didn't? Oh, you're a cat person? Well, that makes sense. Disregard him and or her slash Z. Everyone else, hit the subscribe button and leave your comment below as to why you like this video. Hey, you know what, crazy cat, you can get back, you can, you can comment below too as to why you don't like it.